Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas. And we are looking at the second problem of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So Gerardo is going to buy some gum three packages of mint, two packages of bubble gum, and then each package had eight. So this is definitely going to be one where we probably want to draw a picture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, draw three packages of mint. Uh, so I'm just going to put M, M, M. So I got my three packages of mint here. And then two packages of bubble gum. So I'm just going to put B and B. They don't have to necessarily be the same size, but I went ahead and drew them all to be the same size because it says that each package had eight pieces of gum. So I've got my three packages of mint, my two packages of bubble gum, that each is going to give us a clue that we're most likely dealing with multiplication or division. Whenever we see each, that gives us a clue that we're most likely dealing with equal groups. And that's what multiplication and division looks like, is equal groups. So if each package has eight, well, let's just put eight right here. And we actually have a few different uh, ways we can do this equation here. So one way to do it would be just to add up all of the eights, right? And we can just say, well, we've got five groups of eight. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. Now we went ahead and actually did something in our head if we went ahead and said five, because it's really not five. What it is, is it's three packages of mint plus the two packages of bubble gum. So we added those two together and then we multiplied them by eight each. So we did a two-step problem. We might've even done that first step in our head. So we multiplied are 5, but that came from 3 plus 2. That's going to equal 40. Another way we could look at it would be, let's just add up our mint separately and our bubble gum separately. So if we say our mint has got 3 packages of 8, so I'm going to say 3 times 8, and let's see, that's going to make 24. And then we're going to add that to our two packages of eight, because we've got two packages of this bubble gum here. And I'll say two times eight, that's going to make 16. And so if we wanted to do that, 24 plus 16, that is once again going to equal 40. So anyway, we look at it, our answer here is going to be 40. Now, how do we get some of these incorrect answers? Well, these incorrect answers are actually quite interesting. We get them if we're doing something with all these numbers, we're just doing the wrong thing. So this 26 would be, I've got three packages of mint gum and there's eight each. So if you're getting 26, most likely you're thinking, all right, three times eight, that equals 24. And then you know you've got this two left. And you're like, what do I do with this two? Well, let's just add the two. And if you add the two, guess what you're gonna get, 26. But that doesn't make sense to add the two because those two packages are actually eight each. You would need to add the 16 to get up to 40. So that's how we got that incorrect answer. This next one also looks at this eight and three. So we're going to start with H starts with eight times three. It says, all right, so I've got 24 pieces of mint gum, but I need to do something with this two again. Rather than adding two, what if I just divide by two? And so if we divide by two, well, then our answer is going to get 12 which is going to get this, but that doesn't make any sense. We're not dividing by the packages of bubble gum. We're going to add those 16 pieces of bubble gum to packages of eight. So that's how we get that. And then this last one says, well, I've got three and two. So three times two, that means I've got six. And then if we multiply that by eight, we're going to get 48. So what this one did is this just took all three numbers and multiplied two times three times eight to get 48, but as we know, that doesn't make any sense. Our answer is G.